Welcome to Stacker News. What did you miss last week in web dev? Last week, we found out how to make $10,000 on Etsy, built Candy Crush in React, and used VS Code in a browser from any device. In this video, I'll highlight my favorite creators from last week. Maybe you'll discover some new content that you didn't know about, but there's even more news in the Stacker News newsletter. Click the link in the description below to sign up. All of the links mentioned will be in the newsletter, and even if you don't want to sign up, you can still access all of the links mentioned. This is Stacker News. First up in top news, Gatsby 4 was released and Node version 17.0. On to the VS Code extension of the week. If you use Tailwind CSS, you need this VS Code extension. The Tailwind CSS IntelliSense extension adds autocomplete syntax highlighting and linting for Tailwind to VS Code. Next, we'll take a look at some events coming up. Oktoberfest 2021 will be going on all October long. And then we also have DevFest North America, which will be November 19th and 20th. This is a virtual and free event, and I'll be speaking there, so don't miss it. Go ahead and register now. Here are last week's videos in no particular order. Check out this video from my boy Joe at Coding Phase. He'll show you how you could make $10,000 on Etsy as a web developer. Plus, check the link in the description for unlimited access to programming courses on Coding Phase, plus 20% off. Next up, Jomatech walks us through his 10 years of coding in 13 minutes. Can you still become a full stack developer? In this video, Tiffin Tech lets us know what it takes. Is blockchain, NFTs, and decentralized applications as confusing for you as it is for me? Eat the Blocks will clear it up. Check out this two minute video from Eat the Blocks to learn about Web3.js. Web3.js makes it easy to interact with Ethereum nodes in JavaScript. In this next video from Anya Kubo, she'll show you how to make the game Candy Crush in React. Callie Halden creates an automated YouTube channel using Python that basically runs itself. Almost. Next, we've got another great Fireship video where Jeff introduces Auth0 in 100 seconds, and then James Q. Quick takes over and goes beyond 100 seconds to show you how to set up Auth0 with Next.js. Next up, Brad Traversy shows us how to build an API proxy server. He uses Node.js and Express to create a server that hides public API keys, rate limits, and caches responses, and then he deploys the server to Heroku. And go check out my latest YouTube Shorts video where I show you how to use VS Code in any browser on any device. Do you think it might be time for you to move on from your current job? Go check out this video from Harry Wolf to go over three ways to know when it's the right time to get a new job. Nuxt 3 Beta was just released. In this video from Program with Eric, he'll answer these questions. Should you use it in your next project? And does it hold up to the hype? Check out this tutorial to see some of the new features of Nuxt 3. Forrest Knight came across an article about why the author dislikes open source. In this video, he explains why he thinks that the opinions in the article were formed based on false information. He goes through the article to give you a better understanding of open source and address any misconceptions that you may have about it. Now on to articles, podcasts, and socials. Here's an article that I came across on Dev2, Build an API using Node, Express, MongoDB, and Docker. This tutorial takes you step-by-step -step through the process. For podcasts, go give the latest JS Party episode a listen. In this one, they talk to Nader Dabit about the decentralized future. They cover topics like Ethereum, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, DAOs, and Web3. And go check out this short carousel on Instagram from javascript.js to learn six websites to boost your front-end skills. Again, there's more content in the newsletter. The link is in the description below. If you missed last week's episode, go ahead and check that one out as well. I hope this was helpful. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.